Hey there, it's Kimberly here with Knit for Brains and it's Christmas time in the house again. So stay tuned. Hello, Kimberly here with Knit for Brains. Welcome back to my channel. It has been so long, I feel, since I've been here. I've had company in town. We've just had all kinds of stuff going on and I feel like I haven't been out there for a while, but I have, it's only been like a couple of days. Anyways, welcome to my channel. And yes, I do have stuff to open. I do want you though to pay attention to the size of the boxes and the bags, not as big as they have been in the past. So I just want you to pay attention to that. Oh, and this, this little thing, nah, this is just something I just threw together. This, love, hmm. So this was the pattern that I made with the coconut cakes. And the pattern actually calls for two of the tutte frutte. And I only had one of the tutte fruttes, but I had another one of the fuchsia. Um, I have a little bit left of the tutti frutti and a good amount more of the fuchsia and a couple more of the other colors that I had, the Hawaiian punch and the lemon lime. So it, it is short, it's supposed to be short. And I made the sleeves kind of blousey but I really like it. So what I did was I mixed up the fuchsia and the tutti frutti, followed along with this pattern, took me just over the weekend, two days, but um, really love it. So this is gonna be coming with me on our upcoming vacation. We leave September, no, we leave April 5th. Um, and we are going to be sailing across from Long Beach, California, all the way over to Fort Lauderdale through the Panama Canal. We're going to be doing it during the total solar eclipse. And my goal is to go live. And so you guys can actually see the solar eclipse at the same time that we do. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do the videos while I'm on the road because I don't know how much editing time the Brit is going to want to do. So I might just do some live. So stay tuned for that. I will keep you posted anyways, but we might just be like, hey, we're live. Um, from this time to this time and we're just crocheting and hanging on the ship obviously i'm not going to be doing any unboxings on the ship because it's not like they can although would that not be cool would that not be like travel delivery and then poof, like a little parachute of yarn just shows up on the ship like okay that would be cool if that happens i will definitely let you know but in the meantime that's probably not going to happen so i am now in the planning stages of figuring out what projects i want to bring with me on the ship. Uh, I will be back with you before I actually make those decisions so you'll get a chance to see them. And there's a couple that I have right now in process. I only have two whips going on at the time. Well, three if you count this dumb afghan that I've been making from Pearls, the wander yarn that I just like, um, whatever. Anyways, but two other ones. I'm making a shirt for my son and then I'm knitting a top. And I'm hoping to get the knitted top done by the time I go on the ship because I want it for the ship. So I'm really focusing on that. That's only going to take me down to one whip. Um, but I do have a couple other ideas that I might be looking at. I might be making a shawl with some of this purple lamb fiber yarn that I have. Carla over at Purple Lamb, purple lamb Fibers put out an email about uh, two skein patterns and she had some really cute little shawls. So I might be doing this. This is with the Monet's Water Lilies um, and I do love this guy. So I might be doing this. I will keep you posted on that. Couple things that arrive. Last week, you know, there was a big sale with Ofire, the Oops Hooks, and I know, I'm sorry, they came in and they went out very, very quickly. And that's just the way these things happen sometimes. Furl's Hooks was also doing a mystery sale on their, they called it their mystery sales and that was their seconds. And to date, and this is March 24th, I believe it is, they are still running the mystery sale. So either they have a larger inventory or they didn't sell out as quickly. I don't know, but I did get myself a few of those. So I wanted to show you those. I thought it would be kind of interesting to do a side-by-side -side comparison with the Oops Hooks, the mystery hooks, and the original, because at least with the O Fire, I have quite a few that are actually a first and then the, the you know, seconds that they have. And then I got some yarn. So here's what we're going to do today. All the things, as Mr. Juan says. And hello, Juan from the Yarn Addict. Um, love you very much. Thank you for joining me today. And thank you for us being friends, because I love that we are. Okay, so what I want to dive into first, we want to dive into yarn, we want to dive into hooks. Let's go to yarn, shall we? 
So last week, I was showing you I got some stuff from Premiere. Now, I do want you to pay attention. I got bags this time. I did not get boxes, just so we're clear. First of all, last week, I was showing some of the Premiere crocheted thread that I got, and they sent me the wrong stuff. They sent me the, the number 10 garden, but it was the beige, and it was not the green and gold. And I say, ooh, that's not good, right? And I said, I'm gonna check in with Premier Yarns and I'm gonna see what happened. Well, I did. And within 10 minutes, would you believe, they got right back to me and said, oh, don't you worry about that, none. We're gonna go ahead and send you the new stuff. And they said, donate the other yarn, keep it, do whatever you wanna do. I said, okay, isn't that nice of them? Isn't that nice of them? So if you wanna know the original stuff that I got, or the, the stuff that was a mistake, you can look at the video here. I'm gonna include that. It was the what's in the box video. This was what I originally ordered. Is it not beautiful? And they sent this to me at no cost. Oh, I thought they sent me extra extra, but they didn't. They just, one of the bag was happened to be open, but that's okay. So that's good, that's gone. This is what I ordered. Isn't this beautiful? Oh, like, this is called Garden Metallic, and it's a lace weight of zero. A big, fat bupkis. I don't know what I'm thinking. But anyways, I thought it was absolutely beautiful. It is 90% Egyptian, Egyptian Giza, Giza, that's how you say it, Merzized Cotton, 1% Glitter Yarn. So you can see, I hope I don't have to explain to you where the glitter yarn is and where the Merzized Cotton is. But anyways, this is it. This is what I ordered, and I ordered 12 skeins of it. What they sent me was 12 skeins of their number 10. To be fair, it was also garden number 10. This was garden number 10 metallic, green and gold. That was garden number 10 just plain, and it was like a beige, which I don't hate, because if I like working with this yarn, I would love just a be beautiful, basic beige color. But they right away sent this to me, so I got this at no charge. These are normally $2.49 per skein. They were on sale. This is through Premier Brands. By the way, Premier is having a big sale, I believe through like the end of the month, where they have some big bag deals that are like $5 for the big bag deal, which means you get like three or four or five or whatever it is in there. So I'll include the link below, but you know, go check it out. And they had some acrylics, certain colors, you know, like mega clearance deals. But anyways, so I got these guys. So I'm excited about these. I'll show you what I did with these. All right. The next part of my Premier Yarn order, oh, this is a heavy one, and I don't remember quite what's in here, to be honest with you, but this is it here. So let's take a looky, look see inside and see what we got. Again, these were on sale, and the Brit is doing the videos, videoing, so he's actually seeing um, what I'm bringing in. And y'all are loving what he's doing with, the, um, with my videos. Isn't he fun? Isn't he so much fun? I do love him. Anyways, okay, so, ah, yes, I do recall now. I am really, really loving the Fibra Naturals. I originally found this stuff on webs.com, and I like Premiere a little bit better than I like Web. Web, I think their prices are a little bit better, and um, yeah, so I decided to give my business to them, and they're offering this Fibra, um, Fibra, Fibra, whatever you wanna say, Naturals, and it was on clearance. So I got some colors that I don't, that they didn't have on the other sites. Again, these colors are limited in what they have, but I went ahead and got it. So this guy here is a weight of a three. Let me open up this bag. I'll tell you a little bit about this stuff. They are 100% Egyptian cotton. They are 3.5 ounces, 203 yards per hank. This is a light, it's a weight of a three, and this color is called Citron. And I loved this color. I thought this would be such a beautiful color to make a top in. So this is not the same color that I have. The color I have currently that I'm making for my son is an ecru and kind of a sagey color. So this is Citron, a little bit more of a bright green, but you can see the little sheen to it. It's beautiful. I think that's really lovely. So I got five skeins of this. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five skeins of this guy. Then I got five skeins of this color here which is just a neutral. Now, I think I've said this before. I, 
I'm a color freak. I love color, variegated color, but then I end up going, what the heck am I going to do with that stuff? I end up getting, you know, fun stuff like this or, you know, some of the other crazy things that I have, but I don't have a lot of just like solid colors. And I thought, you know what? It's time. And again, we're getting into summer weather here in Southern California. I could wear this stuff, this light and these cotton fibers a lot more than I could wear a lot of the wools and the heavier knits just because it doesn't get that cold here. We have to go somewhere to get to snow. Anyways, this color I got is called cobblestone, which I thought was also very pretty. So this color here, I got five skeins of this. This is just a, this is gonna be one of my good staple yarns that I can just have in my stable of color. Um, and uh, yeah, that I just have like on the go. And then this color here, which is again, really pretty. This color is called Dusty Apricot. Ooh, do I love this? I would've gone more with maybe like a rust or a terracotta color but I love it. Dusty Apricot, it's called. I saw an emoji, and an emoji. I saw a graph graphic the other day that... Hmm, that's not good. I... All right, Premier. What are you doing to me? I ordered five skeins of this, and I got one one i ordered five of these this is the universal the bamboo bloom hand paints and this color is called emperor i ordered five of these it was a bag deal so i ordered one bag and they sent me this <sighs> looks like we're gonna have to have another top premiere i want you to be my favorite but right now we're two for two all right so I'm checking my order, and indeed, I ordered the bag of five of the Universal Bamboo Bloom print. Because this was on sale, it was normally $29 for a bag of five, but they were offering 30% off additionally off of their clearance, and so a bag of five was $23.20, which is what I paid. This is what they sent me. All right, so I have to go after these guys again. I do like this yarn. I really, really do, but come on, Premier. That's, I've placed like four orders with you and two of them have been wrong. All right then. So just for reference, these guys here, I did order more of the Fiber Naturals. These were normally $5.99 per hank. And because they were an additional 30% off on the clearance, I ended up getting them for $4.80 a skein or hank, whatever. So um, I got five of them for $24 as opposed to $29.95, which is a great deal. Yeah? So I ended up getting three of these guys. Mm hmm. And I was supposed to get another five of this one. Now I just wanted to double check my work, and in fact, I paid $23.20 for this guy, but I should have gotten a bag of it. <sighs> I'm, I'm still liking you, Premier. I'm not in love with you, but I'm liking you. So stay tuned when I get four more. It was probably going to happen. It's going to go, oh, we're so sorry. We're so sorry. You can keep that one and we'll send you another five. Y'all need to like hang with me, rub up on me, rub my head or something, because I think I've got... I mean, kind of bad juju in the beginning because, you know, it sucks that I don't get what I ordered, but then I end up getting good deals. So anyways, all right, so moving on from Premier. So this order I just got in from Lion Brand. Let's take a look, shall we? I don't even remember what I was saying originally about the Premier yarn because I got all sidetracked when they only sent me the one skein. I'll have to get back to that one on you. All right, so again, we are getting into these warmer weathers, and I was in love when I got this cotton bamboo linen, and this color here is called Sage, and they were offering a sale, an additional 30% off on a lot of their yarns, so I jumped right in there and I got them. 
These were originally, I think they were like, oh, I don't know, 4 or five ninety nine a piece. But they were on sale for $3.49. So I got more of this color. Actually, I got this color. I hadn't seen this before. This is called Evergreen. This color is called Evergreen. So I ended up getting, I will, ooh, okay. Uh, I think I probably got four skeins. Oh, no, I got five skeins, I believe. Five skeins. So I got these three here and this one for... Isn't it beautiful? I ended up getting pretty much every color that they had that they had left. So I got the evergreen. I had the sage from before. I also got, here's my other color of evergreen. So let's just double check these, shall we? So five colors or five skeins of the evergreen. That's a good deal. Put these over there. Then I got this color, which I really loved. This is called denim. Denim, just a nice, easy blue. But look, I mean, I love the feel of this yarn. It has a little bit of this nubby, but this is again that cotton and bamboo and linen. So it's really, really soft with the bamboo in there. The linen can be at times a little bit scratchy. It does soften up as you wear it, but in the beginning, those fibers are kind of crunchy. But because we've mixed in the cotton and the bamboo, there's no crunchy here. And there's even a little bit of the sheen, which I believe is gonna be coming in from the bamboo. Um, maybe the cotton, but it's not a Merzai's cotton that I know of. It is 40% cotton, 35% bamboo, and 25% linen. So not as much linen, because that's more expensive, but almost a three-way tie. Little bit more on the cotton side, probably just for the, the cost effectiveness of it, because these skeins are coming in at $3.49 a skein, which is good. There is 164 yards in it, 150 meters, 1.75 ounces, and these are 50 gram balls. So, loving this. This is denim, so I ended up getting five of these guys. And then, so there's one, two, three, four, five. Yay, we got that going. And the other color that I got is called um, Purple Haze. Ooh, and I do like this guy. I really like this yarn so much, I thought I'm gonna go ahead and get whatever I can on these guys. Okay, don't worry. The camera's like, is it, is it, is it, is it? I don't know. Don't worry about it, camera. It's all fine. It definitely, it's got some purple going on. I'm almost, it's like, hmm, what would I call this? It's not a um, mauve, because that would have more like reds in it. Kind of a nice, pretty, like an earthy lavender color. Really pretty. Really, really pretty. So I got five skeins of this guy. And five skeins should be enough to make like a small, you know, summery top or something like that. So we got those guys. Again, $3.49 a skein, people. All right, so then the other thing that we ended up getting was this guy, which is Touch of Linen. And this Touch of Linen was also on sale. This is coming in at $4.19 per skein. This is called Stone, by the way, Stone. This is a weight of four. And if I forgot to tell you, I apologize. These guys here are coming in at a weight of a two. These are a weight of a two. Gosh, it's so soft. This is coming in at a weight of a four. Now, this is not so soft. Look at the difference between the two. It's still gonna be fine, but notice this one has a little bit of a sheen to it. This one, not as much. This is, it's a 100 gram ball, 197 yards, 180 meters. This has a little bit less in it than this, but not by much. This is a weight of a four, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 80 meters. It is 51% cotton and 49% linen. So it's just about a 50-50. So I think what's happening here is the bamboo. There's no bamboo in here. It's almost a 50-50 of the two. It feels more, it feels like a stiff cotton to me. So I think that's where the linen comes in. It's nice, it's nice, don't get me wrong. So I got five skeins of this guy. Linen, there we go. five. All right, um, so this came in again, like I said, at $4.19. So for these five, came in at $20.95 for these five here. For the other ones, the five balls that I got of these guys, these came in at $17.45 for five. That's not bad, that's not bad. And then the other thing that I got, because I really do like this yarn, it's an acrylic, I know. Kimberly, what are you doing? I love their jeans yarns. Sorry, hang on for the crunchies. I really, really do love their jeans. And I got this the other day, a while back, and I thought, oh man, I really like this, but I didn't have quite enough to make. I have three skeins of it. So I ordered a bag of three of it, and it was on sale. 
So it was $4.89 a piece. This is 100 gram skein, 3.5 ounces, 246 yards, which is 225 meters, and it's 100% acrylic, but these are jeans. And this color here is called the classic jeans. So I liked it, and I thought, I'm just gonna get some more. It's 100% acrylic, but it kind of wears and feels like a nice drapey, merzized cotton. Um, so as you put it on, it's just, it has some nice drape to it. It's not super stiff. It's really, really soft. So as I make it into a sweater, whatever I'm going to make it into, it's going to have some really nice drape and it's very light. And um, I don't think it's going to pill. So one of these makes a hat, two makes a scarf, and five plus, five plus of them make a sweater. So I have six now. And they come in all different jean colors. They come in like stonewash and classic and new and I think vintage and there's even like a gray color or green color or something like that. Really, really cool stuff. I love this. So I actually do have enough now that I could make a sweater if I, what's this five plus? I got six. So who knows, maybe I'll make a sweater with it. But that's what I ended up getting from Lion Brand. So this whole order cost me a total of $87. $87.97. Not bad. They are currently running a clearance. Again, while supplies last, but they do have, oh, they have some Schitt's Creek. They've had Schitt's Creek in the past, y'all, and it's still on their website. Check it out if you're interested. It's $5. It's coming in at $5.99 for one of those really big skeins. So it's like 50% off. Remember that, that they're basic anti-pilling, but these skeins are really big. They're a weight of a four and they're coming in at 372 yards or meters. So a really nice big chunky ball of it. And they don't have a lot of colors. They have, looks like Black Crow. They have the Premier, which was kind of that bone gray color. They have the green, they have, which was a Kelly green, the tropical, they have shared wall, which is that really pretty aqua blue. And then they have the yellow, which is folded in the cheese. So. Go check out Lion Brand on their clearance page. They're offering a whole bunch of fun stuff while they last. Anyway, so that was my Lion's Brand and my Premier order. <sighs> Stay tuned with Premier. It's all right. Still love them. I think I do, but we shall see. All right, let's get into the hooks. Now, I know that a lot of you missed out on the O-Fire hooks, and I am sorry about that. They came and they went fast. Now, but I wanted to talk to you about those because I did order some O Fire and I did order some of the furl hooks on the mystery sale. Um, just because I just wanted to check them out. I am not as much of a fan of the O Furl's resin when I compare them with the O Fires. I don't really like the head, but what I am a big fan of on the O Fires, I'm sorry, on the Furls are the stainless steel. I absolutely love these guys. As a matter of fact, they even come with a little polishing cloth, which was so cool. These were not on seconds, but I did order some in a second. So let's take a look. Let's start with the O Fires. Mm -hmm. I did open it, but I didn't look inside. So what I thought would be kind of fun is we then could take a look at the original, the good one, and then compare it to the second and just see. As long as I've been loving on O'Fire Hooks, which was basically December of last year, I've only seen them offer this oops sale twice. So do you know, I'm always going to tell you when the sales come up, when the whoops has come up, the, oh, the, the, well, it was called the whoops sale or the mysteries or whatever. I'm going to stay on top of it. You can too. But if I see it, I'm going to tell you about it on the community tab on my YouTube on the community tab. So let's take a look. Now I did order a lot. Don't be mad because you're like, oh, I couldn't get any. They're all sold out and it's your fault. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. I'm bringing it to you right? But I was stalking their page a little bit. All right. So with the oops, just like with the really, just like with the original ones, the front, you get it in this nice little tube and these tubes go for $2 and 99 cents a piece. And these tubes are not the seconds. Everything I got in here is a second. This one is a correct Alexandrite. Okay. So it's got the color kind of running through it. But I know for sure this was not an oops hook. This is the oops Alexandrite. So you can see the color just didn't land where it was supposed to and it kind of, you know, spotted through. That's okay. So this is a size seven um, and this is a size eight. So again, 
the it's all going to be the same. I, I thought at some point maybe they were going to be different sizes. These are the same size. The drilling points is exactly in the same spot. You can see here. So the oops is my eight, and then the the first the first is my uh, size seven. So that's the difference between it. Not a huge difference, honestly, except the color landed up here as opposed to all the way through. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my firsts in my red glitter case here. Da -da -da. Then I'm going to put my seconds in my um, not so pretty and blingy case. Still beautiful, but not as blingy. That's how I figured I would tell the difference between the two. All right. So I got this one here and I don't know the color. I don't know what this one might be the aquamarine, which I never had before, but that's pretty. I don't honestly, I couldn't tell you what's wrong with this hook. It's got the grooves. Maybe the color she doesn't think is mixed as well, but I think it looks all right. So this was, this is a size 10. What I tried to do was to get a complete set in all the different colors and all the different sizes in the seconds. That's sort of, that was my goal. So I only got like one or two of each one of the colors and you know, you had to get what you had to get. Here's another one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this was the Moonstone, and I thought this was going to be really pretty, and in fact it is. It's very pretty. This is the, it is called the Pink Moonstone. So maybe the glitter just wasn't as, as pretty or prominent. I don't know, but I think that's beautiful. Oh, look, it matches my nails. And I did not have this color. Uh, oh, maybe I did. Hmm. I don't know. Anyways, okay, so this is, maybe it's the same. This would be one, and then this would be the second one. Perhaps, if these are seconds, this would be the first, and then this would be the second. Maybe the color is just a little bit more milky. Um, hmm, not sure. Anyways, so I got that guy. Next, I'm building a set here. If anybody's like crying, going, I didn't get any of those, comment below. And who knows, maybe I'll choose, maybe I'll choose a winner, and I maybe I will send you one. If you're nice to me and you're, you know, really sweet, maybe I will send you one of my oops. Who knows? This one here is called citrine. So again, this is the non oops here. And then this is the oops one. And I couldn't tell you the difference, except perhaps the color doesn't go all the way up into the neck. That looks a little bit different to me, but that's okay. That's fine. Okay. So I was trying to build a set here. I'm just telling you, I was trying to build a set. Here's another pink moonstone. Looks like I lost a little bit of my glitter right up in here. That's okay. This was a size five. Okay. Yes, I am going to stop shopping soon. Um, soon, but not too soon. But this is nice because I can keep a set of these downstairs and a set upstairs. So this one here, I believe is also a, it's not a aquamarine. It's gotta be an aquamarine. This guy here, like I have a 6.5, beautiful, really, really pretty color. And I didn't have that before. So there we go. They still look pretty. They still look so pretty to me sitting in my little case. Look at that. Boo, 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 boo. All right. Oh my. I don't remember ordering all of these. I'm sure I did. I got 11 hooks because I did say that I wanted to fill up my second box here. Okay. All right. Now let's take a look at this one. This is an emerald. Hmm. So you can really see how the color just didn't go through because this is my current emerald. This is a good one. Okay. And then this is the one that's not so good. All right, so now we can see the difference. This is emerald number one. This is first quality, and this is my second. I don't know. It's kind of cool looking, but there it is missing a lot of color. I will give you that. So for those of you who are like, what's the cost difference between these two? The regular ones go for $16.99 a piece which is still a great deal for a beautiful resin hook. And the oops go for $8.99. So this is another one of the citrines and probably just the color was a little bit off. This again is my oops. And this is the, um, the good one. I don't know what the difference is to be honest with you. I think it's just that it doesn't have quite as much of the little glimmer and the gold going through it or the shimmery stuff. Maybe it doesn't go all the way up into the, um, into the tip. 
This is opal. So this is the opal. That's actually very pretty. It's got a really pretty iridescent look to it. Ah, okay, I can see what happened on this one. If you look at the label, it is. it kind of got a little bit missed there at the tippy top. Just on the word, oh, fire. You can still see the, the number, but it's just missing a little bit on the top of the label. That's okay. That's fine. But the color is still the same. Yeah, that's the only difference. That's okay. Comment below if, ooh, that was a little bit hard to get out. If you have used the Oh Fire, if you like the Oh Fire, and if you're like, oh my gosh, I really like that one. So comment below and maybe I'll be just like, oops, it's coming to you in the mail. This guy here is the um, Sapphire. Okay, so this is the Oops Hook in the Sapphire color. And this is my good one in the Sapphire. So again, just a color differentiation there. All right, last one in this box. Urgh, a little bit hard to pull out. Ah, okay, I did. I was really hoping that I was gonna like this one. This is the Alexandri... Alexandrite. This is the Alexandrite. This is also is an oops. And I think what happened there is, if you look at the, the wording up there, it looks like it's got a little bit of a line going through it, like it wasn't quite the best stamp. There it is, see that? Okay, camera, that's okay. So otherwise, that's perfectly acceptable to me. I don't really care about that at all. Maybe the stamps are a little bit off, like this one looks a little bit weird. So maybe it isn't the color, maybe it was just the stamp. Next one. I, there is more. I was really shooting for a full set because it's always good to have a set. And then I can have some that I take with me on trips because I got my little travel cases here. All right, this guy, I didn't get as many. I only got one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Six, seven. <laughs> didn't see the other side of it. All right, let's see here. Yeah, it was a twofer again. Okay, seven. Let's see, is that what I ended up getting? Three, six, seven. All right, let's take a look at these guys. Uh, I got, ooh, okay, I see this one. So they had, they had some of the birthstones and then they had, they had them in like two different places. So you had to kind of go to two different pages, if you will. And then they also had a third page for the pink moonstone and the blue. And I wasn't a big fan of the blue moonstone anyway, so I really didn't care and that went gone fast, but that's fine. This one here was the amethyst and I was really excited about the amethyst. So this is the amethyst right here. I can see what happened. Really, it was just a little bit of a line right there. If you don't already know, um, this is a woman owned company. Her name is Ashley. And this was sort of like, I mean, I think her life and her getting into making crochet hooks was sort of an oops in and of itself. I don't think she was doing anything in crochet, but she had a passion for it. But what I really dig is that she's really into the quality, right? Um, these are all, by the way, handmade. This is the Peridot. Okay, and again, it, what we're looking at is the label. That's because I have a Peridot over here and it's, the, it's just the wording. And really it's the word, oh fire, but that's the difference. So this is my first and this is my second. Oh, and well, lo and behold, would you know, I got it in the same size. I got the exact same thing. All right then, but they look really identical to me. There you go. Okay, people, I'm feeling generous. Comment below, because since I have two of the same size, you wanna be twinsies with me? You wanna be same, same? Comment below and let me know and then I will, that's probably the one I'm gonna be giving away because I have pretty much the exact same one. So we could be twinsies. Wouldn't that be fun? All right, this one here is, I got the turquoise. Uh, yeah, well, okay. That's a big difference. It's this one here, it's all about the color. This was my first of the turquoise and this is the second. So you can totally see how the color just didn't go all the way through. But whatever, that's fine. This is a size four, size four in the turquoise. If it's a smaller size, they send you the hook with this cute little like donut that goes around it to protect it in shipping. I mean, that is the quality that we're looking at when we're dealing with these hooks. You don't get that from your Tulip or your Susan Bates or anything like that. This is quality. This is small business entrepreneur. This is pride in craftsmanship, okay? So this is a new one to me. Mm -hmm. So obviously this is a color issue. That's fine, there's a hook tip. 
that's okay. That's fine. You know, whatever. This is a size five and this is going to be the garnet. It looked really pretty on the website. Not as much in person. This is the pink tourmaline. Uh, oh, it's very pretty. Oh, fire hook. So there you go. This one. I don't own an O fire pink. I mean, a uh, tourmaline. It's very, very similar to my moonstone. Um, or maybe that is a pink tourmaline. Maybe the color is just a little bit off. Because this looks brighter pink to me than this one does. This is def This is the moonstone, and this is the pink tourmaline. That's okay. It's, it's very bright. This is a size 4.5. I love it. Super cute. Super cute. All right. And I'm going to pack the little boops away like so. The little boops. -key. Two more people. Hang in there with me. Two more. We got this. This one is the yellow topaz. Didn't think I was going to be a big fan. Probably still not a huge fan. This isn't a yellow fan, per se. Once again, let's see what we're looking at here. It looks good. The name is a little bit cut off. So I got a six and I got an eight. So this one here is my first. This is my first quality. And then this is my um, second, my oops. And you can see the color's a little bit different, maybe. Like the glitter doesn't go all the way through. And the stamp is a little bit off, but... Other than that, it's fine. It's totally fine. So this is going to go in that set, and this is going to go in this one. And lastly, lastly, uh, 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 oh, this is the diamond. Oh, it looks okay. The only thing I'm a little, we'll see. If you look closely at the tip, it looks like there is a crack that goes through the middle. Do you see that right there? It looks like, which I don't know if that's going to compromise the integrity of the hook. We'll have to wait and see. Maybe I'm wrong, but that is the diamond O fire, and this is a five and a half millimeter. All right. So, everybody, this is my O fire's seconds. You can see all of them together. They look just fine. And I did try to get you know, as many of the different sizes as possible so I could have a complete set. And then this is my O-Fire firsts with some of my Barbie hooks here in the back. So my little flukies. And then this guy is the new Winter Wonderland that they just came out with. And this is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. So I pretty much have a complete set. I'm really happy. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. So comment below. What do you think? Give me a nod on like what you're working on. Give me a reason to send you this number seven O Fire Green Peridot. That's what I'm going to be giving to you. Share it with a friend, comment below, let me know what you think. All right, lastly, and we're almost done. I promise, the Brit's like, oh my God, your videos are so long. I don't know. I'm thinking that I might just do, especially when we go on the, on, our, on the road, that I might just do, you know, like a live and we crochet together. I'm a little nervous to do that because I feel like, what if I'm sitting out there just, you know, hanging out, just flailing in the wind and there's nobody that wants to join me. I'll be like, here I am by myself crocheting. So let me know, comment below. If I were to do a live where I'm just like, we're crocheting together, or whatever, would you guys, like, would you listen? Would you hang in there with me? Would you do that? Um, cause that's what I think I'm probably going to be doing on the ship, but I'm a little nervous now. I'm like, what if people don't like me? What if they don't want to hang out with me? That's kind of weird. All right. So when I saw that Furls was also doing a mystery second sale, now they are still doing that. I decided, oh, all right, I'm going to check these out as well. Cause I don't have any Furls mysteries. Again, I am not as a big fan of the resins on these hooks. I just don't like the way that the tips feel. They weren't offering the seconds on any of their other hooks, the wood or the streamlined metal, because I would be first in line for those puppies. Um, so these were only mystery seconds on the resins, and you have no idea what you're getting. You just put in what size you want, and then that's what you get. So these are the uh, furls that I do have that are not seconds. This is their winter, one of their winter wonderland ones or whatever, and then this was a green, and this was a I didn't really like the way that one came out anyways, but still, okay. And then I do have a wood one and I do have a stainless steel, which I love, 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 love those. Okay, so I ended up getting four. Now these are $12 a piece, which means 
that they retail for $26 a piece, I believe is what they are. 26 or 28, I forget. So I decided to go ahead and give these guys a try. So these seconds come in at $12 a piece. The seconds on the O Fire hooks come in at $8.99 a piece. Full price, when they're in perfect condition, they come in at $16.99. So furls come in at $12 when they are a second compared to the O Fire that comes in at $16.99 just as a little bit of a reference. So I have no idea what I'm getting. Um, I ordered a size 15, a size 4.5, a size 8, and a size 9. So this guy here, and this is how they come, so they don't come in any other kind of protective boxing except for this guy here. It says, let's do this. That's super fun. All right, whatever. Wait, open the other end, which it is that I'm doing. Okay, so here's, huh. So this is the 8 that I ordered. Now, this is very similar to... The G plus, what the heck? I don't, I mean, okay, I, actually, I don't know. That, that tip is kind of looking a little interesting and cool. I don't hate that actually. That's kind of interesting, but this was a second. The color is just kind of wonky inside of it. I don't, I couldn't tell you what this color is supposed to be called. Just as it's a mystery second. Okay, fine. So that's that guy and that is a size M. Next one up I ordered is, I don't know what size this is. Um, this is a size M. So the M is the eight millimeter. Hmm. Huh. I don't know why this is a second. It's not terrible. Look at that hook. Is that weird, you guys? Is that weird or is it me? No, it's just a big old fat thing. How did I get two of those? I didn't order two. These are both M's both size eights, but I only ordered one M. Oh my God, you guys, people don't love me. They're sending me all the wrong stuff. They're sending me all the wrong stuff. Mm. Okay, so this other one that I ordered is a size Q, it's a 15. Uh, I don't mind the size of it per se. What the heck is going on with that color? Blah. Okay. It's a size 15 Q, 15 millimeter. I mean, it's fine, it's whatever, but that hook size, holy moly. I did say, I did, I did, I did say that I wanted to order this one because I don't have this size, which is fine. It kind of fits in my O Fire set. I mean, I don't really want to put it with my O Fires, but you can certainly tell the difference. But this is a, this is one of their seconds. This is a mystery second. Okay, so I did order an M and an N, but they sent me two M's. Hmm. I ordered a G plus this one here, the 4.5. So this is a second. That's fine. It's actually kind of pretty. I don't mind that, but I'm not super thrilled with the fact that they sent me two of the same size when I ordered an M and an N and they sent me two of the same size. I ordered an, so an M would be an eight millimeter and an nine and an N would be a nine millimeter. And these are both the same things. Well, guess I'm going to have to call Furls too and say, yo, y'all didn't send me what I ordered. Okay, that's it. That's all I have for right now. A lot of yarn. Going to have to go back to Premiere. Naughty, naughty. Going to have to go back to Furls. Naughty, naughty. Other than that, I'm pretty happy. This is my, these are my seconds. Oh, fires. Ooh, right? Um, and these are my firsts. Again, it's what I'm really noticing with these is just the difference in the stamp on them. These guys, definitely, there's some weird color going on with those. Um, I can't imagine. Maybe this was a second. I don't remember, but mm, I don't know. I've got a lot of hooks now, y'all. All right. This is Kimberly with Knit for Brains. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed, why don't you? You can see I'm not like, you know, asking for anything. Just come around and hang out with me. Go ahead and join our Facebook page, Kimberly with Knit for Brains. And again, any sales, anything that's going on, I'm going to post up there in the community so you guys can see what comes through right away. Comment below. Let me know what you think about these hooks and what you think about the sweater. This was super cute. It was this pattern that I had right here. I got it at Michael's, Karen's, Cakes, and I do have a little bit left, so I'm going to make something with this. I'm not sure yet. We'll just wait to have to see. All right. Thanks so much for watching, but comment below because some lucky friend is going to be getting this beauty right here. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and even include it in one of these little O Fire hook tubes because I do love you. As a matter of fact, watch, I'm going to pack it up for you right now. Here it is. Boom. It's going in there. 
So tell me what you think. I'll choose a winner and then you're going to be getting one of these guys. Thanks so much for watching. This is Kimberly with Knit for Brains. Thanks for having fun with me. I really appreciate you being here and joining and telling all your friends about us. All right. And as always, I'll see you soon.